whole week to teach students and staff about the importance of inclusion, all of it being led by a teacher on a mission. Here's Sophia Radeball with that story. Well, this is Rand Ferry. He is an athlete at the Unified PE class at Lawrence District 55 School. And this week, students like Rand Ferry and others in the school are learning they have more in common with each other than they knew. Every single day, everyone counts. Erin yes. Hahn goes to work. Can you shoot the ball for me? With a smile on her face, knowing she's making a difference. She's the teacher for a special ed program called Unified PE Class at Lawrence District 55 High School. I have students with intellectual disabilities and then students without intellectual disabilities. Joining together, learning how to relate to each other through sports and different activities. The bond these students have created. First day, Draquan, me and him met. Some say is unbreakable. He's shy at first, but as soon as you get to know him, he's attached to me at my hip. Like, we're, we're besties at this point. And out of this PE class, a movement in the entire school has been sparked. This week, the high school is joining together in what they're calling Unified Spirit Week, focusing on ways to practice inclusion. For Han, her connection to people with disabilities goes deeper, as she miscarried a Down syndrome baby in 2019. One of my favorite quotes or sayings is that when you look at a person's abilities instead of their disabilities, you'll be amazed at what you find. Saying going to work every day with a smile on her face and seeing her students like Rand Ferry and Draquan gives her hope. <gasps> the goal is that every student in this program feels special and a part of this community. And Lauren Sophia Radeball, 7 News. The entire school signed a pledge promising to go the extra mile to make sure no one is ever left out. The city